In this video, we'll cover how to handle interactions from your digital cues. Whether it's through email, chat, social, or WhatsApp, all your interaction will appear at the top of your control panel. The pop-up will tell you what kind of interaction it is, like this. If you'd like more information, click on the down arrow. If the customer is in the system, the rest of their information will appear here. Click on the green icon to begin the interaction, and it will open in the control panel. You'll see their email address, name, IP address, and refer, showing you where the chat is routed from. The text window at the bottom of the control panel is where you can respond to the customer's messages. Once you're ready to send, click the send icon here. Below the text window, you'll find several options to help streamline your work. Beginning on the left, you'll see your translation options. You can choose to activate spell checkers, enable translation, and the option to show the original language the message was sent in. Next is the pop-out icon. This allows you to create a window for the chat, freeing up your control panel while you manage your interactions. The transfer icon makes it easy to transfer the chat to another queue. This is useful when an interaction is misplaced or the customer can be better assisted in another queue. Select the queue you'd like to transfer to and click Transfer. Sometimes, customers are better served when you can see what they're seeing. This icon sends a co-browsing request to the customer and allows them to share their screen with you, which makes finding the solution a lot easier. Lastly, the knowledge base is a store of frequently used phrases, also known as canned phrases, which are a great shortcut for product and service information. Each question in the knowledge base has a shortcut using the backslash symbol. For example, in this system, backslash DEL1 is programmed for frequently used information. Once you've completed the interaction, click the end button. Click wrap up when you're done and a case will be created automatically. Select a customer from the customer list and fill out any additional information about the interaction. When you're done, click save. A new case will be generated and stored in the system. That's it. Now you know how to handle digital interactions in the Contact Center Agent Console.